What's up guys, this is Carter from 355Z and today I'm going to be talking about some of the problems from pushback that you guys probably do know and some that you might not know. Alright, so starting off with the uh, uh, long goal, I had some questions on the earlier video on how long, how wide is this slit. So we'll just go ahead and measure this and it's just about two inches, I'd say a little bit less because of the polycarp thickness. So it's pretty ample room to, to de-score, um, though I think, you know, probably shoving it uh, from one ball could be a little bit more useful. But obviously, you know, if there are less balls like shown in here, then, um, you know, you can uh, go along the slit. So I thought that was interesting. Um, the first problem, actually, this is a good thing. The first good thing about this uh, field is the structure of these long goals, right? And these are actually pretty strong because, you know, obviously very uh, rigid metal towers. Uh, I thought, you know, maybe these might be a little weaker, but no, they're actually pretty strong. So I think that's a really good thing about the game. And also the, uh, the polycarb is kind of reinforced by this metal piece, as you can see here, which I also think is really good. And uh, I don't think this long goal will see any breaking. So pretty interesting. The second issue... Uh, and a lot of teams have been talking about this, is the mash loader tubes, right? So if I put one down, uh, it has a small chance of coming out of the tube, right? As you can see there, it almost did. Uh, some of the teams had problems with theirs getting stuck <laughs> in the tube. Uh, I don't see really how that can happen uh, because, you know, there isn't enough space. I mean, there, there's a lot of space for it to, you know, kind of just go, but... Uh, interesting, the manual says, like, the, the balls can only be removed by a robot, so that's definitely interesting. Um, but the, the lip down here definitely helps. Uh, I don't think the GDC will, you know, ship us out new VEX parts, so, you know, some stuff like the center goal problem, which I'm going to talk about later, you know, might not see too many changes in terms of defense, right? Um, the second problem is with these, so... Not only do I think they're not very durable, right? Because uh, the game manual actually has you only putting one standoff in here. So as you can see here, the whole weight of this is basically based off this one point. Uh, and I really think, you know, you might have some issues with tearing up field tiles or um, stuff like that. And, and just like completely ruining your field. So for safety, and I know comp fields probably won't do this, but... I would advise to put three standoffs and you can kind of offset them like this diagonally so then you can fit this. That's personally what I would do, but uh, obviously it's up to you. <laughs> the only thing is, you know, you might face some durability uh, concerns in the future, right? So definitely very interesting. <laughs> uh, also, for fields with straps, uh, this is something you should watch out for, right? Because we have straps. Uh, this is actually a custom field. But either way, uh, straps are basically the same. Since they go down the middle, this plate gets slightly elevated. So you'll notice with this uh, kind of parked place, it's actually kind of wobbly. <laughs> so uh, depending, you know, on which side it's wobbling, it can be higher or lower. And, you know, it, this can affect your park, say your sleds are not high enough. So definitely designed for a little bit of tolerance with these uh, parking zones. Uh, another concern I want to bring up are the middle field tiles, right? So when we first got these, uh, and actually still now, they do have like quite a bit of a color difference. Uh, I saw some teams that don't have a color difference, but I saw a lot of teams that do have a color difference. So I think this might depend like field to field or where you got it. I know we got it, uh, you know, at the time of, um, straight after worlds. So, you know, definitely interesting. Uh, one thing I want to note is they're actually slightly taller and also slightly smaller than the uh, stock Vex tiles, right? So what I mean by that is, as you can see here, they're not quite fitting in with each other. As you can see, there's this small gap that runs along it. And definitely very interesting. And you can also see if I zoom in a little bit, they're a little bit taller. So um, definitely interesting. Uh, if you're running, you know, Odom or odometry pods, uh, you might face like some issues, you know, 
with it running over these tiles and you know changing obviously uh height in the uh in the tiles so you know your tracking might get messed up um that's definitely something to watch out for i doubt the gdc will ship new field tiles obviously but you know over time i think with the bots running over it it's going to start to flatten out so i hope that is the case for these um probably like the biggest concern right is the center goal and i think it's very badly designed for a number of reasons so first of all obviously the d score right so i don't have the bot on me right now but as you can see here um they can be very easy discord you know you can just like literally push it a little bit and they all come out uh and you don't even need like you know any sort of like piston mech or specialized mech for this right you really just need like a good hit from the side and they will all come flying out which i think is interesting and i think it's also interesting to see you know how the gdc will respond to this right because you know obviously you don't want these goals instantly being discord uh and you know if you add a protection right say a bot's coming over here and they encounter a defense like they can position themselves so then they would be pushed into this goal, goal. Or the other team could use their robot as a glove to kind of push the, the, the balls out themselves for either either alliance, uh, you know, kind of strategy. Uh, so definitely interesting. I don't think protection, I think you might have to do, go for like some last second fills during this, which also is kind of a bad thing, right? Because park, right? So... It's going to be really interesting. I think these might be, you know, literally, like, unable to be touched. And if you play defense on them, you, like, kind of lose. I don't know. You get a penalty. Uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how Vex plays that out. Uh, but other than that, there is a big uh, kind of durability issue, right, with this. Because you're only actually mounting it on one base plate. And though it's distributed bef uh, between, like, four tiles, right? it will rip the tiles apart because these are not far away points they don't have you know they have a lot of leverage that will really tear the tiles apart especially coming from here right that's gonna act as a giant lever and you know say like a vex u bot comes along they smack into the side of this uh it's gonna be a pretty big problem uh, i think and uh i think a lot of field tiles might get torn up uh which is good that they give you these because you know obviously you do not want that happening to, to your uh normal field tiles right so another thing uh is the durability concerns of this plastic structure right so it's actually pretty thick i think it's one eighth polycarb so it's pretty thick it feels really sturdy right actually it doesn't feel really sturdy just the plastic feels pretty sturdy so um you know say if xu bot com is coming along or you know a vrc bot with a lot of speed so <laughs> i think you know you might face some cracking um you know a lot of bending this will become out of alignment a lot and it will affect autons and stuff uh which i think is also an issue and i think you know vex uh in general this this center game element i don't think it was really like that crazy uh but it does look cool um it, it's just you know some of the easy d scoring and uh kind of stuff like that but um other than that these are completely open slit wise so there's slits all along this which is really cool to see um as you can see if you are running straps it will be wobbly because just how the tile is sitting on here uh you know you will you will experience like some wobble uh to some degree if you're running straps or the portable fields right so I think that's also uh, notable and, you know, it might affect your autons because of just how much it shifts. And, you know, obviously, if you're running a robot into this, it's going to be much more shifty than, you know, me just pressing on it. Um, other than that, I think the game is actually pretty well designed. Uh, but I think, you know, it's going to be hard for the GDC to figure out, right, what is going to happen uh, with these match loaders. And how this game kind of plays out. So it's definitely going to be interesting. Personally, we're going to be going for like some fast cycling thing. Uh, but for my prediction for uh, for the park. And I know a lot of you guys say it's not worth it right now. But in the future, I think 
uh, in uh, not only over under but high stakes. They have been making it really like easier and uh, what do you call it like uh, more more likely that teams will want to uh, to park. So I think in the future we're gonna see a lot of parks. So if you wanna you know go for that design, that's ne not necessarily a bad idea. Uh, I think you know personally we will be going for that design, but. Um, obviously that's up to your team and, uh, yeah, good luck.